Learning new details on what we can expect as the case against a Portsmouth councilman moves forward. Councilman Mark Whitaker is set to go to trial Wednesday on 20 criminal indictments, including identity fraud and forgery. Other charges stem from an investigation into the church where Whitaker serves as assistant pastor, its development company, and the now defunct credit union. And 13 News Now investigative reporter Laura Geller joins us with new information. Laura. Well, in newly filed documents, prosecutors are proposing questions to ask potential jurors who could be chosen to decide this case. They want to know if the citizens or their family members have attended services at New Bethel Baptist, had an account at the church's federal credit union, have taken a class or attended a lecture by Whitaker, or made a political contribution to the councilman. Prosecutors have also filed a motion asking the judge to declare certain witnesses adverse witnesses. That means they have an interest in the outcome of this case. Those people include Whitaker's sisters, church and work associates. We've also obtained new documents about one of the witnesses subpoenaed in the case. An attorney says Melinda Starkley, who served in the credit union, has been asked to produce documents that are not public records. We don't know yet what will happen on that end. Whitaker maintains his innocence. Laura Geller, 13 News Now.